Hi, my name is Alan and you're in this video because you're probably wondering how you can keep your webcam settings saved every time you open up OBS and stop it from being reset. So I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. So right now we are on my desktop. As you can see, we have OBS right here. I'm using a portable version of OBS. And for the strict to work, you would need two programs, which I'm going to show you in a second. But first, let me hop onto my browser, which right here, you can see millions, well, millions, thousands, but, but you know, a lot of people asking why does their webcam settings keep on resetting, especially this one. This is one of the most popular webcams out in the market and the exact webcam that I'm actually using, which is the C920. Now, as you can see on the two tabs that I have on top, there are two programs that you need. And one of those programs will be dependent on the webcam that you are using. So here, this is the first one that I'm going to show you, the Logitech G-Hub. Now Logitech G-Hub is used for controlling the webcams made by Logitech. Now, you're probably asking, what if I have a Razer one? What if I have um, a different one? Not name another brand, Elgato. You would need their software. And in that software, you're going to configure one setting, which is this. Here, let me hop onto my Logitech G-Hub. So right here, I'm going to select the C920, which is a webcam that I'm using right in this video. And from there, I'm going to make the camera mode on streaming. Now, of course, hey, Alan, why is my program not showing streaming camera mode or something like that? We need to look for something that has to do with the low light compensation because our trick for today's video doesn't actually save the actual low light compensation settings, which is this one right here. See, if I pop up, my OBS settings for the C920. If I go to camera control, this low light compensation is usually not being safe by the end of the program that I'm going to show you. But as we all know, every single one of these softwares, such as this one from Logitech, doesn't really give us the most settings to, you know, edit, unlike the one on OBS. So we're just going to need the actual webcam software or just the low light compensation. And that is basically it. I'm going to exit out of this. Now it's up to you what software you're going to be using. Just keep in mind those things that I've told you earlier. The actual major program that everybody is going to use though, is this one by Syslic V. It's just a simple program that allows you to save and run those little commands so that whenever you open OBS up or whenever you just start up your computer, all of your webcam settings would be applied. Here, let me show you. So you go to this website, all links will be down in the description down below. And we're just going to click on webcam camera config.exe. I'm not going to download it anymore because I already have it. And I'm just going to open up my file location. Right here, it's actually stored on where my OBS is. And this is OBS right now. So how does this thing work? The web camera config. As you can see, I have two files right now. The web camera config, which is the one that you're going to be downloading. And there's one right here that is called that CFG. Now, if I open this one up, it actually stores all of the settings of my camera, which is great. Now, how do you get this file though? Well, the first thing that you want to do is go and open up your OBS. In this case, I already have my OBS. Hi, you can see me there. You just want to go into configure video. You want to go into camera control. And from here, you want to fix every settings again. Doesn't matter what you do with your low light compensation, just turn it off, I guess. And um, do your settings. As you can see, I got my focus on zero, posture negative five, pan, tilt, video, white balance, whatever. Got those set. And now I'm just going to press OK. And after you do that, you can exit out of OBS for the meantime, or better yet, just keep it open while we do this trick. Now I want you to open up Command Prompt on your Windows machine, which is right here. The next thing that you're going to be doing is drag the webcam camera config. And from there, I just want you to type spacebar first and then dash dash save dev. Once you do that, as you can see right here, it's gonna create this thing right here, the cam underscore set that CFG. So the actual saved file is not gonna be saved right next to the web camera config that exe or whatever going to be saved over at c colon forward slash users forward slash your computer's username so as you can see here i'm using void everything tools 
so I can quickly find it right here cam underscore set that CFG and I can just drag that out to keep it right next to the web camera config so that if you actually double click this program it'll now pre-launch the preset and have it applied instantly so here let me show you a sample if I go to my C920 right now and then if I go to configure video if I change the brightness to let's say zero this you know contrast to zero press apply if I double click the web camera config now boom set it right back to where I want it to be that's okay that's okay you're good to go but then you're asking hey once I restart my computer it is actually not running because it is not yet set so this is how you set it to auto run as soon as you start up your computer I want to go and just you know you can create a shortcut file of this one you don't have to do anything really I want to do Windows R to get the run go to shell all in startup that's okay and as you can see right here I have a web camera config that exe so all I did is basically do a copy create a shortcut drag it here boom I'm ready to go whenever I start up my computer this thing would run that would apply everything that I saved with that cam underscore setting file and boom whenever I open up OBS all my settings are good and I don't I don't have to change anything it just works and that is basically it that is where I'm going to be ending this video again this is Alan don't forget to hit that like button subscribe share it with your friends that of course needs this tutorial video comment down in the comment section below if you have any questions try to help you and what else you can check out my other platforms at alan avila underscore or watch me stream over at twitch.tv slash alan underscore thank you for watching and have a nice day